What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, Money in the Bank is literally this weekend, and I, I wanted to talk about my favorite Money in the Bank cash in. And there's been some good ones over the years, there's been some iconic ones. A lot of people consider Seth Rollins cashing in at WrestleMania between uh Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns which is was a really good cash in the iconic heist of a century heist of the century um another good one was when John Cena had that grueling elimination chamber match he retained only to find out that he had another match against Edge and Edge ended up winning his cash in against John Cena um that was a a pretty good one the cm punk ones were pretty entertaining as well there's been some pretty good solid cash-ins even the one i believe dean ambrose i think all members of the shield had the championship i want to say i think did roman come in as champ i want to say roman came in as champ lost to seth rollins and then Dean Ambrose cashed in on, on Seth. So all three members of the Shield had become world champions, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it, it was at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I think Seth had just came back from injury. Roman had lost to Seth. Seth had ended up getting cashed in on by Dean Ambrose. They all they were all WWE champions. At that at one point at Money in the Bank, I believe. So that was a pretty good cash in too. But for me, y'all see the image in the background. For me personally, this right here, Dolph Ziggler's cash in the day after WrestleMania on Alberto Del Rio, in my opinion, is still the greatest cash in of all time. Legitimately. Now, here's the thing. Dolph had been holding that briefcase for a very long time. He had, they had paired him up with AJ Lee and Big E Langston. And he wasn't sure if they were going to actually pull the trigger with him and actually have him win it. You wasn't sure. But you hoped that they were going to do right by Dolph. And you was thinking maybe he was going to cash in at WrestleMania that year. But he never did. The Monday Night Raw after, the most ruckus crowd for WWE is the, the Raw after Mania. And I believe there was a match between Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger. Eh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not really, people really didn't care so much for one, the babyface Del Rio, and, and two, you know, him being the world champion. It, it was like, you know, kind of a meh. Not, I don't remember people just being very hyped that he was world champion, but I do remember people wanting Dolph Ziggler to finally get his moment. So I believe he had a match with uh, Jack Swagger. I think they had a match the night before at WrestleMania. I barely even remember. Um, but <clears throat> obviously uh, he was selling an ankle injury, Del Rio. He won the match, but he was selling the injury since he was fighting Jack Swagger. And, you know, Jack Swagger was like the Timu version of Kurt Angle. That's what they were trying to do with him. So the ankle lock was one of his moves. And, you know, <clears throat> Del Rio selling it. He got officials checking up on him. He can barely walk, but he won the match, right? And then all of a sudden, I'm here to show the world. I'm here, bro. Oh my God, the crowd going insane when they realized it was Dolph. Yeah, I believe Michael Cole are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like he was selling it too. Crowd went crazy. And you see him walking down the ramp with a purpose with Big E and AJ Lee by his side. I was like, are they going to do it? Is this the moment? So he gets down to the ring. Del Rio selling his ankle, barely walk. He goes to the ref, says, hey, ref, I'm cashing in my money in the bank. We're doing it tonight. Ref's so like, you sure? Like, we're doing it tonight. So he cashed in. So I'm like, all right, this is it. They got to pull the trigger. 
this is it. This is the moment. Crowd's going crazy. I'm going crazy because I watched this live. I remember this like it was yesterday. They start the match. And what I liked about this is they didn't just have Dolph go out there and win it. It was a situation where it looked like Dolph was actually going to lose. I believe uh, he I believe he did hit him with a zigzag, but Dolph, you know, Del Rio ended up kicking out. And it was it was one of those scary moments where you're like, are they going to have this guy lose to an injured Del Rio? Like, I believe he had him in like an arm bar. Uh, Del Rio has Ziggler in the arm bar. And obviously... Dolph, knowing that uh, Del Rio's leg, his ankle is injured, he started yanking on it to get himself out the armbar. It was so damn good. This was good. I like the fact he didn't just go in there, hit his finisher and cash in and win. He actually had, it was like a little mini match. He actually had to kind of fight his way out of a situation where he could have lost. And the crowd was on the edge of the seat. But when he finally... Hit the zigzag, and he went for the one, went for the two, and went for the three. That pop was insanity. The crowd went crazy. I went crazy. It was such a great moment, bro. And you hear, and new. Oh, my God. This was great. This was fantastic. I, I, I love this. And I believe he had a little backstage segment and crowds cheering for him because you could tell he worked his ass off to get to that point. Crowd was behind him. And he's like, I didn't have my WrestleMania moment last night, but tonight is my WrestleMania moment. It was so good, bro. This was one of the few times WWE did the money in the bank cash in perfectly. Because once again, they didn't have this guy just go out there and win instantly. He actually had to fight and actually had to overcome Del Rio, which was really, really dope, bro. I love this moment. This is a video, I'm not even going to lie to you, I've watched periodically. I may watch it once a year type thing. Like I'll go back and on YouTube and watch the cash in because it's one of those moments where you never forget where you were. This is why I say this is the best cash in of all time because of the fans wanting Dolph Ziggler to get his moment and he finally got his moment. This is how you do a cash in. And, you know, kudos to everyone else that did, you know, had amazing cash ins that themselves. But me personally, and I think a lot of people may agree with me on this one. This is the greatest cash in of all time. Because of the emotion, the atmosphere with the crowd, the crowd, there was everyone was pro Ziggler. Everyone wanted this to happen in that arena, and it was a genuine surprise. And the fact that you started off, you know, Monday, well, not started off, but you had WrestleMania, and then Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania, you have a new world champion. It gave that feel of Raw's at the Mania are must watch because you never know. And this was so good. This was so fantastic. So I'm going to ask y'all, man, comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite money in the bank cash. And it doesn't have to be Dolph Ziggler. It can be whoever you felt like had a really good cash in and you enjoyed. Y'all let me know. Even women. You can put women in this category too as well. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling channel for the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you next one. Peace.